microcosmic orbit is composed of two channels referred to as the governor and functional channels, which are like two large rivers with many tributaries. Each channel supplies qi to 12 subsidiary roots. The functional channel is the main yin channel of the body. In this part of the practice, we want to clear the space between the mid-eyebrow, heart, and navel centers and connect from the mid-eyebrow to the perineum along the path of the functional channel. As soon as you feel the connection at one point, allow the momentum of the energy to flow to the next one. Inhale to the mid eyebrow and spiral in your mid eyebrow. And exhale down to the heart. Feel the heart and the mid eyebrow connecting together. Again, inhale, mid eyebrow. Exhale down to the heart. Again, inhale, mid eyebrow. Inhale down to the heart. Each process you can do three to uh, nine to eighteen times. Except when you exhale down to the heart and feel them connecting. And you can exhale from the heart up to the mid-eyebrow again. Inhale, mid-eyebrow. Inhale down to the heart. Exhale out to the mid-eyebrow. Do it a few times until you feel the mid-eyebrow and heart connecting. Picture the mid-eyebrow and the heart have a golden pie connecting together. Do a few times by yourself. Move your left hand down to your navel. Inhale down to the mid eyebrow. Inhale down to your heart. Exhale down to the navel. Do about nine times or eighteen times rest. Feel the mid eyebrow, heart, and navel connecting together. And we're going to reverse it now. Inhale to the mid eyebrow. Inhale down to the heart. Inhale down to the navel. Hold, spiral, contract the energy in the navel area. Exhale out to the mid eyebrow. You also do like this about 9 to 18 times. And feel the mid eyebrow, heart, navel. Connecting together like a golden pie. Inhale the mid eyebrow. Breathe in the light. Inhale down to the heart. Hold for a while. Hold in a way you don't feel stress or, or too much. You cannot feel not uncomfortable. Inhale down to the navel. Exhale down to the sexual center. Do like this about 9 or 18 times. Feel the connection together. Inhale, mid eyebrow. Now reverse it again. Inhale, mid eyebrow. Inhale down to the heart. Inhale down to the navel. Inhale down to the sexual center. And exhale out to the mid eyebrow. Inhale to the mid eyebrow, heart, navel, sexual center, down to the perineum. And exhale. Feel the mid eyebrow, heart, navel, sexual center, perineum. Have a pie connecting together. Have a pie connecting together. A golden pie connecting them together.
Now, move your right hand cover your sexual center, and your left hand cover your your sacrum. So we're going to start by contract the perineum. At the same time, contract the mid eyebrow and feel a suction of the energy from the mid eyebrow down to perineum. Now, perineum is a big, big suction. So when you inhale, contract the perineum. At the same time, the mid eyebrow have a suction draw down the energy into the perineum. At the same time, the perineum and the suction draw the energy from the soul and the earth up to the perineum. Like big suction. Okay? So inhale, contract the perineum. Sexual organ, lightly contract it. At the same time, eye contract and nostril contract. Feel a golden light coming into your mid eyebrow and down to the perineum. At the same time, the soul have a suction draw the energy up to the perineum. Now exhale down to the perineum. And some out to the mid eyebrow. Feel the mid eyebrow, perineum. So, and perineum have a pi connecting together. Have a pi connecting together. Again, inhale, contract the perineum anus. Feel a suction in your mid eyebrow. Feel a suction on your perine on the soul, all up to the perineum. Exhale down to the perineum, down to the soul, down to the mother. Feel a nice, gentle, kindness, brew energy coming up to you. Picture you like a child, back to the mother, mother hug again. Again, inhale. Lightly contract your perineum anus. Now this time I want you to contract the anus and feel suction from the mid eyebrow and the soul come up. Contract your anus, press your leg and pull it to the coccyx. So you pull the muscle of the energy of the anus toward the coccyx area, toward the coccyx. Press your leg a little bit and contract up, pull it toward the coccyx. And exhale down to the soul. Again, inhale, contract the perineum and the sexual organ. I contract and draw the golden light. Your beautiful place, your holy side that you you connecting with. And suck the energy from the soul up, the mother earth up to the perineum. Inhale again, contract your anus. Pull toward the coccyx and feel your coccyx plug in to a 2,000 volt of energy in your sexual organ. Just picture the sacrum plug into the sexual center and exhale down to the soul, out to the perineum. Just feel your mid eyebrow connecting to the perineum and the coccyx and the sacrum. The soul connecting to the perineum and the sacrum. Slowly move your awareness back to the navel. Collect and gather the energy in your navel. <coughs> Just aware the tree center, upper center in the middle of the brain the middle center in your heart center, and the orig original for your lower center. In the Taoism said, the lower part store the jing, and the center part store the qi, and the higher part store the spirit, the sun. Gather the energy, collect the energy into your center in your navel.
the heavenly force involved with the primordial force, the creating force that in the universe, the Wu Qi energy, the star, the planets, the sun, the moon. So we call the universal force. When you get higher to practice, we divide those this thing to very detail. Detail and detail and detail in the higher practice. So this heavenly force divide to many. This heavenly force. Heavenly. You have creating power, Wu Chi, primordial force, the star, the galaxy, the planets, the sun and the moon. The back part of the crown connects to the pineal gland in the brain and is the doorway by which the soul and spirit depart for the North Star at the time of death. The middle of the crown connects with the hypothalamus and is the pathway to the Big Dipper. The light of the Big Dipper is a vibrant red which reflects the vitality of the life force manifesting. The North Star is emanate out a violet light. In minute out a violet light. North star is um, we have some photo here, which um, we taking up every fifteen second, fifteen minutes. Okay, every fifteen minutes, you can see the photo are different. Everything is moving except the north star to move. Okay, and I think that everybody know north star. Anybody traveling in the sea, in the jungle, they have to always recognize the North Star because it's only one object in the heaven don't move. Okay? We actually, we call it North Pole. In the Taoism, we believe that the North Star is the gate of the heaven. That means, that's the indicate how you go to the heaven. But, it's not the only one way. When I started the study, there is no only one way. But, in the Taoism set, the North Star way is the most easier way. That's all. It's the most easy way to reach because that is the object. So when we practice now, we always prepare ourselves in the Tao way, prepare. So when we practice, you feel yourself to the north and you lightly put your chin and you are aware the existing of the north star even in the daytime is still there. Okay, it's there. Okay? And when you are aware of the North Star and you feel you have a sense of connection, you make a connection with the North Star. Okay? Now, in the next level, when you started to practice to out of the body, we always, always travel toward the North Pole. Always travel to the North Pole. Because the easier way to do. But there are not only the North Star way. They have Southern Cross also. They have Eastern Gates and the Western Gate. Buddhism mostly using the Western Gate. And the Muslim using the Eastern Gate. And a lot of South African, they use the Southern Gate. The thalamus gland have a close connection with the Big Dipper. It emanates out a red light. So right in the center here. So when you picture the North Star and the Big Dipper, and it's like guiding on the top of you, okay? And um, now, the scientists started to discover that the Big Dipper, apparently they are not a group. <laughs> because each one can be separate uh, 80 to 100 light years apart. Each one. It's incredible. Each one just from the first one to the second one, can be uh, 80, 80 million light year apart. Light year, just one light year is incredible already, 80 million light year, it's apart, you know? And they move as a group, you know where they know it, why? <laughs> but anyhow, uh, in the Taoism, we always regard the Big Dipper is a guardian of the North Star. So we have to go through this Big Dipper and go to the North Star. And that's where the practice of the Tao. 
and it reflects the same practice of what Jesus do, and also reflecting the same practice of the north, the um, Gnostic Christian. Gnostic Christian means north, north star, and you will discover the Gnostic Bible, which is the most original Bible that we ever existing now. Okay, and they talk about north star, talk about facing north, and barely they barely always facing to the north. The feet parted to the north, the face parted to the north. And they're, uh, they're always bearing that way. Okay? So, that is the crowd. The position of the crowd, you raise the hand up, and we use the he sound. He, he, he. You feel a frequency out from the crowd out. He. And the crowd, and you face the palm down, and you start it to spiral. Feel your palm have a two light shining to your back of the crowd and the center of your crowd. If you look carefully, here is the opening of the crowd, the back of the. So when you, when like, like this, the back part of the crowd is low. When you put your chin like this, the back part of the crowd is high, and the center of the crowd. So then it's to come right down here and here. 